They've hit the streets of El Paso County in the hundreds. Now those who run them and those who eat the grub that comes out of them say they're not going away anytime soon. ABC 7's Pilar Arias has tonight's special report on food trucks. I love it. It totally spoils my diet, but it's awesome. They're popping up everywhere. It's being diagnosed as food truck madness. Parker! It's very fast and convenient. You can get it anywhere. I love the fact that the trucks are mobile and that um, you can find them all over the city. It's, they don't just stay in one place. Food fans often find their favorite trucks on Facebook where operators post today's menu and location. But are they safe? Interim Food Safety Manager Santiago Varela says there are 363 active mobile food service permits in El Paso County. Owners are held to the same strict standards as the thousands of restaurants they have to monitor. Failing scores of 69 or below, uh, that, with that, that would require reinspection. Uh, and a good inspection score would be guessing between an 80 and above. Along with checking the city of El Paso's website to find a truck's latest inspection score, Sergeant Cheddar's truck owner and operator Pedro Cortez says that's not the only sign telling you where it's safe to eat. If it's good and nice on the outside, it should be the same on the inside. A lot of a lot of the nicer looking trucks tend to be, you know, nicer inside as well. Cortez and stuffed owner Carlos Vela often set up shop together. It's gone really good. We've gotten close to each other. We get together once a month to meet and discuss ideas as how we can get better and attract more people to the gatherings. You come out here and you get to socialize with everybody and it's fun, it's upbeat, and it's something really awesome to do on a Saturday morning. The two food truck owners I spoke with brought me some of their own personal favorites, such as this burger that has an artichoke spread on it. And as you can tell, it's made with a bagel as its bun. This one as well has a unique made in the truck cheese. This grilled cheese has a fried egg on it. It's kind of hard to see because I don't want to spill the soup. And this one has what's known as a bacon jam. As for the foodies, there can't be enough trucks. There's a variety of foods out here, Mexican food, pizza, there's sweets, there's barbecue, and so I hope that this market continues to grow because it's very interesting, unique, and delicious food. Extra hot, but extra good. Thank you very much. Pilar Arias, ABC7. Truck owners Cortez and Vela say they both hope to open restaurants someday, but enjoy the flexibility of being able to set up shop whenever and wherever they want, thanks to the county health mobile permit ordinance. We have a slideshow of trucks, eats, and additional links served up at kva.com. It's given us a chance to try some food That's and right. some cuisine we may not get to try. That's right. And need some young chefs a chance to <laughs> get things going. That's